Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. This is Jam and Glam Teresa. She's a Barbie that was made by Mattel, of course, in 2001. Uh, she's a little bit messed up with her hair. Um, I had purchased her uh, from uh, the flea market and I wouldn't normally have purchased um, a current Barbie uh, in this condition uh, with the exception that she has a, a couple of really um, neat characteristics that are they're pretty unique um, for a doll. Uh, so her, her head, her scalp rather, um, it can turn and change the color of her hair and so I'm just gonna do that and maybe you guys can imagine when she's got silky brunette hair what that would look like and then uh, turning it back to pink I thought this is a, a really neat idea and uh, I had always liked it since I had done the research and purchased uh, my Tiffany Taylor and my Tuesday Taylor dolls uh, from the uh, 60s and 70s. Um, I, I like the, the concept of being able to change the hair color. And I haven't really seen any dolls um, that have been able to um, have that or have that concept um, in this way anyway. So um, that was one of the things that made me overlook uh, the condition of of the doll and her hair and her missing uh, quite a few of well I mean she doesn't this is not her original dress obviously it keeps kind of falling off of her um, she does have uh, one other unique really unique um, uh, characteristic about her and um, so her her, her body is made out of just regular, it's like Barbie plastic. Uh, she doesn't have any joints though, no joints in her, in her wrists or her elbows. Uh, she does have that uh, ball joint in her shoulder and then she also has it in her uh, neck. And then she has the typical bending three leg. It's a little bit on the weaker side, uh, but that bending leg, uh, three clicks and then uh, nothing in her ankles but what she does have is in her waist and this is so uh, I think it's really really a neat thing um, it makes me think of um, some of the uh, more realistic dolls that are there that are coming out now um, this area in her waist area is flexible and so you can move her all around and she has uh, she has a loose joint uh, it's a joint in there it's a it's a real loose ball joint that allows her to be extra flexible and then they put that uh, really it feels like almost like real skin it's a little bit thicker but um, it really makes it look uh, pretty realistic so when I saw this, and that this doll, of course, uh, she was um, naked when I first bought her. So I just put this. This is a. Uh, this is is probably a Barbie dress. Um, might it might even be handmade, um, just so that I could uh, cover her for the video, and I wanted to be able to show you the waist, because uh, that is a really cool feature about her. Um, she would have been sold, at least the, uh, the pictures that I've been able to uh, find online of, of Teresa, um, she would have had on um, a silver pair of uh, silver lime pants and then a uh, pink halter top. And then over the top of that, she would have had a, uh, like a cropped furry blue coat. And uh, I was not too sure about the shoes. I really didn't see the feet. Um, in the boxes, it's a little bit hard to, to see that. But, um, so that's what she would have, have been wearing. And I really wish that she would have been able to have at least um, some of those items along with her. But uh, the changing hair color and the waist was enough for me to purchase her. And I think I only spent like $1.50 on her. 
um, they were getting ready to close and they just, you know, they really wanted to make some money. And so I think they had her originally listed at three bucks and I talked them down to a dollar fifty. So I, she does have a little bit of work, not a lot. It doesn't look like her hair has been cut, but, um, it is a little bit matted. So I do have a little bit of work to do there, but, um, other than that, uh, her paints is all in really good shape. It's all there. Um, I don't know if she would have had any, uh, jewelry i didn't check that out so if anybody has um this teresa doll or even the uh, barbie or the christie i think there was a barbie and a christie that also was in this um in this collection or series of barbie um please uh leave it in the uh comments for me and let me know um what else this doll would have been sold with if she had um some other things that would have been something for her hair or something that would be um, accentuating her waist. Um, I would really like to see uh, even the other dolls. I think that would be really neat. So this is the Gem and Glam Teresa. If you guys like this doll, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.